Hey guys, it's Icing here, and we are back in Iceopolis, where I've worked on a few things. Let's just go through those real quick. Um, ooh, iron sword and a shovel. Nice. I'm gonna have to empty that out soon. Let's go ahead and toss these in. I'll show what I've done. I finished up the cow automation. I have no idea where there's why there's random hemp there. Oh, I think they stomped one of my hemp to death and it bounced really far. I don't know why or how. Whatever. Okay, well, let's go inside. I'll show you guys what I got going on in here with the old cow sex and chamber. Um, basically, it works. I ran um, power down from the windmill. Uh, he will eventually fall down and I'll get his yummy, yummy drops. As you can see in here, got some beef, some stone brick and some leather. And that's how we got that going. So there's that. Um, I just kind of brought the water around the corner there. You can see they fall in there. They go down. They get chopped up. And then their drops fall down through the edge and into the hopper. Um, yep, that's what we got there. Okay, now to get power for that, I got it from up here and we have a couple new things out here. Because uh, the big point of this is I want to start working on books um, so I can make my infernal library. So basically, I just brought this straight down. Um, I put a detector up here to turn it off when it's storming. And I did power all those hoppers there. So those go down in power. And then I built that, which we'll get to in a second if I don't knock my windmill off. Okay, cool. But we'll get to that in a second. I also started running really low on redstone. So I went mining and I built my mine shaft here. It just cuts straight down and then goes off in directions and I've been mining, like strip mining down there. Okay, so there's that. Um, I talked to a buddy of mine who is a fantastic builder and he's interested in building my infernal library. So we're gonna have an episode soon where I'm going to transfer this over to a server and he's gonna be building an infernal library underneath there. So it's important for me to get books automated. So to get books automated, I decided I needed, I wanted to do pots. So I built this. This is a design I used in my old world uh, made by Noircat. And let me just break some stuff here to show you how it works. This is a auto pottery machine. Basically, the turntable is powered here. And on top of the turntable is a buddy block. So clay goes in up here and it's going to screw up the first time. But that's no, it won't. It'll be fine. OK, so the clay places and normally this will be on the side here and I think here as well, and I'll have a front on it. And when it gets there, it pops off and it falls in here. So there's that. And basically each time it's going through, it's ticking to this, which cycles through these two pieces of transparent material for each like level you want to do it or each. Um, I didn't bring enough brick with me. We'll put a piece of dirt here for now. That'll keep it good and I can put a front on this everything put it all in a building um, and then it places the redstone torch which triggers that to push and then triggers this all up here to place another bit of clay down so there it is the next thing is an auto smelter which we'll get to in a bit until I put a nice door on this we'll just close that off and then I have this so I can turn on and off whether it's gonna spit my drops out because I can hook this to an auto uh, uh, auto kiln and um, I have to go down there again and get, grab those and have it just spit right into the auto kiln. So that'll be our next step. Okay, so there's that. Now that we have these pots being made, um, I don't know, I'll build a building around that so I can safely use it at night. It's actually almost got blown up by a creeper while working on it because I kind of tunnel visioned and forgot what time it was. But then in here, we can, burn, we can set these up, blah, blah, blah. So from here, I do need bone meal. Let's let this finish and I'll go get bone meal. Um, we're gonna need to make more hibachis so we can set up a auto kiln. I'm thinking about doing a tube kiln because I've never done that before. And I think that'd be kind of cool and really useful for making charcoal on in mass. But we'll get there, we'll get there. 
Depending on how big the infernal library is down there, I want it to be underneath there so, you know, experience can shower down upon me because I think that's cool. Um, but depending on how big that is, um, we might extend the mob trap up instead of down, or we might just do both. We'll see how it all goes. I need some bones because I need bone meal and I need dirt so we can start making our planters. Up we go. And we'll grind up these bones here. Might as well grind up that hemp as well while we're at it. But I think I have a bit of bone meal in one of these. I have a lot of bone meal, actually. Okay. Well, that was excessive. And I always forget which way it goes. There we go. Two planters. So we got to figure out a place we're going to be putting our auto... Um... Can you do this shapeless? No. Wasn't sure if you could do that one shapeless. Okay, that was a weird bit of lag there. Okay. Well, we gotta figure out a place we're gonna be putting our auto um, sugarcane farm, and I think I'm just gonna put it on a standard, you know, simple five minute timer. Um, I don't know how much of it I need, though. You know what would be a good place to put this? Let's put this down here. Let's put it down with the cows in like the side of the wall there. I'm trying to remember where I put all my pistons. So I've got one sticky piston there, but I know I have a bunch of pistons somewhere because I made them for the nether and I don't remember where I put them. I didn't leave them in the nether, did I? I don't think I ever brought them to the nether. There they are. 11 pistons. Cool. So let's come down here. And if we do this right, we can probably tie it into the five minute timer these cows are already on, which would be nice. Um, yeah, we can do it against this wall here. A little bit peckish. Didn't actually eat there. That's good. Cool. So we're going to want our pistons to be like here. Since we... Crap. Oh, actually, we're going to want them to be one up, one higher. Um, there we go. And let's just build ourselves a little bridge. We're, yeah, we're going to want the pistons to be up one level because we're going to have the pots in the way there. So the pistons are going to go here in the other direction. Okay. Now we're going to have to get in behind these pistons. Let's go one level back. We're going to run redstone so that these trigger every five minutes. And there's my Kindle yelling at me that something or another's happening. Someone probably tweeted at me. Okay, so there's this. And the planters are going to go right here. Cool. So I guess we got to go get some redstone. And some stone brick to make that look nice. Um, there's the redstone. Let's go ahead and grab the stone brick real quick. Might as well get that all taken care of while we're back there. Um, wow, my game is lagging for some reason. Ah, I love that sound. We're slowly gathering up enough iron to finish up the nether railway, which I'm really excited about. And we'll eventually start working in the nether again. I just needed a little break from the nether. It's just traumatizing. Um, then we're going to want to put sugarcane on these. So that'll let it grow up a maximum of one. Actually, you know what? We should probably actually let it grow up more just in case it does. So, I mean, that means there's a possibility of it growing up another level. Cool. 
It probably won't, but if it does. And then we need redstone back here. Will that even trigger? Let's go get a torch and test. I don't think that's going to trigger. Because I think it has to be pointing into the pistons. Which could be an issue. Yeah, that isn't going to work. Um, hmm. What if we do, like, alternating? I think that's pretty much the cheapest way I can make this work. Go ahead and block this off. And now I can just run a line of redstone here. Cool. And from here, I want to dig outside. And that way I can connect this into... the five minute time I already have without having to make another one. And it's terrible, terribly dark out here. Okay. So I'm still getting some balls glitching through. We'll work on fixing that later. Um, wait, where'd I come up? Here. So let's just dig down here real quick. Oh, I have, like, a weird way out of here already. Okay. And then... Oh, I did fix this as well. Because it was triggering incorrectly. And I put piles of dirt as per a suggestion I'd received. Okay, there we go. So that was just weirdness. I'm going to run this redstone up here. We're going to have to run it through a repeater. Okay. Eventually, we're going to have to run through a repeater. Let's get some more dirt above me again. Fix that. And then this can come down here. Yep, here's where I'm going to need a repeater. So we'll do some wonky tonkness here. Luckily, I have one left. There we go. I need to invert this. Which means I don't need this repeater, actually. That's kind of cool. Okay. So I save a repeater. Invert this. So every time... It finishes it'll just pop off one block oh it'll pop them off so every five minutes it'll push and i'll get whatever's you know i have grown there so that's sweet excellent so there is my auto sugar cane and those are the two bits i need to uh really start working towards you know mass amounts of books obviously we need to And finish the rest of these planters uh, and it's a good idea for us to get a ton of planters ready anyway because we're going to be using them for wheat farms pretty much all kinds of farms so there we go that's looking pretty good uh i need what how many more of these do i need in here three more so let's go ahead and get those three oops And check on the progress down here. Looking good. Looking good. These guys actually should have probably one extra wheat laying next to them. Yeah. So that's a waste of a wheat. I could go get it, but it's such a pain to get out of there. I don't feel like it. So we do need to make some wheat cells so we can fill those up. Um, we'll do some auto wheat cells above the hoppers. Uh, and I'm going to be making a new grinding area soon, because this one's really bad. So, let's get three more of these fired up, and I will be back. And we're back. So, I plopped them in, and it actually the timer ended, and I saw it work. 
Well, it hadn't grown at all, but I saw them pop out. So now I know that my mechanism works at least. Um, waiting for these cows to face what's coming to them. Make it a little nicer in here. Uh, now we do need to add pigs to this and I'm considering just plopping them in the same system or maybe making like a little rivulet over there and have the baby pigs feed in to the same kill mechanism. I don't know. There's a couple different ways we could do that. I also need to replace this with an iron door at some point because this is ridiculous. Uh, though I could just take the door out. Whatever. But yeah, so that's what we got going there. This needs a little home on it. Um, our hopper's working well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and I also need something to turn this off at some point. Because it can be pretty loud and annoying. But let's build ourselves a little room here. The turning it off is actually pretty easy. Honestly, I can just have a lever here. Any of these, um gearboxes leading up to it can have a lever which will turn it off so let's go get some more stone brick finish up that little room uh i should get an iron door oh i don't want to use an iron door i don't know we'll just use dirt for now so let's toss that in there grab these And turn that into stone brick in the most frustrating way possible. There we go. Didn't realize that another stack of smooth stone on me. Okay, well, that's a thing we've done. I'm fine with it. So, let's go ahead and build this up some more. Um, ow. And I think we're going to go up one higher. So we can enclose the top of this thing. That looks good. And... Here we are. A little hole there, that's fine. And we'll just put dirt for the door for now. We'll make that nicer later. Cool. Okay. Um, probably get some torches in here. And it's not pretty yet, but it is utilitarian. So, there's this. Actually, I want access to this as well. And that's so I can change out what it's producing. So let's go ahead and add that there. Nice little access tunnel. Just realized that. Um, oh yeah, roof's probably a good call. And we're going to go ahead and block off the other side of this. Um, someday. That should do it. I can hear the cows down there. Cool. Okay, cool. So then the auto kiln, we'll put a room here and make that auto kiln system work. But other than that, we are good. This gives us the ability to change what we want. Like, for example, if I wanted, um, I don't have anything on me to do it. If I wanted urns, actually, that's a good call. We should get some urns going. I just need to make a couple more 
half slabs of different types. And I think I should work on getting a half slab of each color of wool to put in there for timing. But I have a stone slab here, and I know I have another half slab somewhere. A birch wood slab. Cool. And we'll grab out... I thought I had some more clay somewhere. I thought I did. Hmm. I know I have some more clay in here. Should be this chest. Okay, we'll grab some more clay. And we'll go ahead and start making a bunch of urns. That way, once we have the auto kiln, we're ready to just fire up a bunch of urns. And then from there, we can start working on an auto uh, solar creation facility. Shove nether stone dust in, get solar. And, um, and urns in, gets, yeah, blah. I can't talk today, guys. I don't know what's going on. So we'll take that out, put that and that in, then put that back. And then we'll put some more clay in here. We've got a bunch of balls of clay here. We can go ahead and remake. Pop that in. And we should start getting urns. Which we'll go ahead and block this off since it's causing some issues here. We can get to it from the side there. And I can just use um, trap doors set on their sides here, like closed, to uh, make this collection easy and easy to get to. Oh crap, that's vases. Um, I need to go one more for urns. So let's go get some more types of wood. Wheelp. Okay. Um, yeah. We need two more types of slabs. Let's go with... I don't know if siding works. I guess we can find out. Do I have any cobblestone slabs in there? I don't remember. Let's grab cobblestone slabs, and we can do packed earth slabs, actually. There we go. That'll do it. And we can find out if siding works. Doo -doo -doo. But we're getting to the point, now that we're getting into automation, we can start making some badass looking buildings. Which, as I said, I'm going to be getting some help with, because Ashi is a fantastic builder, and he's fun to play with, so yeah. Um, let's try this siding, and let's try a slab. I just want to see if siding works. I should probably put that in there again. And I love the way the block dispenser works, just ticking through its different types. So we're about to find out if the siding works. Yep, it seems to. And one last check. And there's our urn. Fantastic. Okay, I think this is where we're going to end it for today now, guys. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. It was greatly enjoyable. Remember to like and comment. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, have a great day.